Days a day. Get a little practice. Get your nine holes in. Kill your bird. Oh! Delete that. Up bright and early, it's about 4.30 this morning. Got us about an hour drive, headed back east of where we stayed last night. We're meeting Taylor's buddy, Clay, and I think Taylor and Clay are gonna be the first to shoot this morning. I'm gonna be filming. We're gonna try to get them a double, obviously worst case scenario, get one of them down. And then um, just kind of alternate. Today could be a fun day. We're gonna pretty much um, all three try to fill tags, but we can fill two right off the rip. That will definitely allow us to put it on cruise control the rest of the day and then focus on getting one more bird. But we're gonna be at the gas station here in a little bit. I'm gonna, like I said, meet Taylor. And then uh, we're gonna head on over to the property we're hunting. See y'all soon. You ever heard of make it rain day? Is that today? Yeah, we're about to make it rain. Ready for this? Let's go. Any more monkey business? Yeah. I ran, a, ran a long beard over on the power line. But you know, funny thing is, that Tuskies don't pay them a whole lot of people. No. Yeah. We didn't see them coming Did y'all get on the gobbler in the gravel pit yesterday? Mm -hmm. There was one in there. There was. Yep, we, we, I rounded that corner and said there was a hundred of them. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got that pictures. Whole, that little. <laughs> garden, so we like, shit. He went and cut over. That little garden. sand spot looking deal <laughs> down there at the end of that road where yeah. it makes a cut over uh -huh. was black. The whole little area down there was black. Yeah, I figured they'd come out everywhere in that bottom. They will. In front of that shooting house. And I even saw tracks walking down the road toward the food plot. Yep. Behind the shooting house, the same way we walked in. And then I saw, I mean, I know they're going to use that other road. They got a big lease over here, but supposedly he's been having some birds on camera and we're gonna try to double up, maybe even triple up. Um, but I mean, you just can't never tell. It's always hunting. We'll see how it goes and hopefully we can make something happen. It's a long way to come from Arkansas for nothing. Up to the left side of this food pot, open these 
birds work their way down. If one bird comes in, Taylor's probably going to shoot it. If two come in, they're going to try to shoot a double. It's a cool little setup. It's enough for a food pot here in Mississippi. Fingers crossed, hope they come in. Should be more. There's, there's two or three more long beards behind the brush.
never saw them on the road. They could, they could be still standing right there. Oh, I can't do they come back. Hey, hey, unless they ran, they still, they could still be standing right here. Business trip. Yeah, I'm out. Yeah, I'm out. It's yeah, a I'm out. Yeah, Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I'll tuck your breast to mine, baby. Why didn't you shoot there, turkey killer? Well, I got something wrong with his trigger finger this trip. 27 yards with 12 gauge, kind of pushing. You locked them outside of 50. Yeah. Kind of pushing it. Oh, yeah. Did you have a pretty clear shot at him? Oh, he was, it was, it was wide, wide open. open. Yeah. yeah. It was perfect. Yeah. Oh, red, red head. No, as soon as I seen yours turning around, I was like, all right, I'm. I'm yeah, and then I seen him. that one turn too. I was like, shoot him. <laughs> just shoot him. I don't even care to shoot him. <laughs> I'm just glad you uh, yeah, finally, finally killed one. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've been out here hunting for two days. Been waiting on you to shoot one. I, I watched you pass too many up yesterday. I had to just get the job done. No, we finally got it done. Um, it's been, I mean, we had birds on us literally from daylight yesterday till dark. It rained for a couple hours. Um, so outside of that, then whenever we came back, I mean, we had them on us still pretty much dark. Um, I think we saw probably what ten different long beards yeah, at least nine or ten all day. And just couldn't couldn't make it work for a good video. I mean, we could have stretched a few out and probably kill one, but just didn't have anything really go our way yesterday. But today we finally made it happen. Had four four jakes and four long beards. Yeah. Four yeah. jakes, four long beards come in. Um, Had a shot on two. Somebody didn't pull the trigger again. Yeah. We, I didn't. We couldn't really see them until they got out in yeah, front of us. Yeah. Um, the Jakes came by first. I mean, they kind of knew something was going on. But they ended up kind of easing by. And then this one and another one came out. And, I mean, they were about to leave, we think. So Dusty. we weren't going to risk it. Finally break the ice, and maybe it'll be all downhill from here. We got one more goblin behind us. Yeah, we're going to try to go kill another one real quick. He's gobbling, so we'll try to make it over there and see if we can make something happen. Finally got us one down. We're uh, wrapping up here in this food plot. We got one goblin behind us. We're about to uh, pack it up and head that way. Like Taylor said, I mean, we had a heck of a day yesterday. Extremely tough hunting. Got beat by about 10 different long beards and uh, finally set up this morning. We waited for about an hour, hour and a half before those jakes came up, but we we're sitting here taking some video of Clay's bird and we had one just rip off behind us in a cut over. So we're about to pack up, head that way and we're gonna to try to get on another one. <laughs> that old running gun. What's wrong with whose trigger finger? How far is that? <laughs> A little more my style. <laughs> 